Chastity Spencer. I fell in love, like, kind of quickly, you know. Was an inmate at the Bullock County Detention Center back in jail from a bench warrant and had been charged with promoting contraband. She escaped in late February and was found dead a month later. She's, she's gone, so in her memory, you know, maybe I could protect somebody else. Now her boyfriend James, who doesn't want to show his face, says he wants to protect other inmates. I just want to expose this corruption. After she died and I went through my, you know, my grief process, you know, with her, uh, because of her death, you know, I kind of thought about it and, and went through uh, her messages. And what he saw in those messages shocked him. This was inappropriate. This is wrong. If he's doing that with her, then, you know, maybe he's doing that with somebody else, too. WDRB obtained all of the messages, including sexting, messages between Spencer and Bullock County Corrections Officer Will Smith. She says, send me some pics then. He says, how many? And she says, as many as you want. He sends his private pics. These documents say on February 28th, Spencer was released from the jail to work here at the Little Caesars Pizza in Shepherdsville. She was supposed to work from 2 o'clock to 9 o'clock, but instead walked off the job. She was there at work. She was doing a good job. We had a couple of inmates that were working there, all doing a good job. To my knowledge, she said she needed to step out front for something. And a guy, I believe to be her boyfriend, picked her up and they left. One day she called me and she was like, uh, um, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, and I told her this probably isn't a good idea, but you know, I do miss you. And we decided that she would come and, you know, come stay with me. So I arranged for her to get um, a ride to my apartment. She left, you know, and left like she escaped from jail and came to my place. The next morning, a knock at the door. 8.30, 9 a.m. that next morning, uh, the police were at my door looking for her, so. And what did you tell them? So, we did not say anything. We did not answer the door, and they knocked for 20 minutes, banged on my windows, went to the back, banged on the windows, and eventually left, and like, for the next few days, we just kind of stayed inside. Records show the jail's chief deputy was looking for Spencer. According to this report, notification of the escape only went to next of kin, not the media, state police, law enforcement, or commissioner. Spencer was on the run for a month. During that time, she kept getting messages from corrections officer Smith. And he says, you miss talking to me? And she says, yeah, you know I do. Uh, he says, I do too. I miss your sexy ass. If I would have picked you up, what? could we have done? And she says, send me money for this phone and I'll call you and tell you. At times, Spencer even questioned Smith about why he was messaging her. He wasn't just contacting her just to try to find her, he was contacting her sexually. Why did you decide to come forward with this information? If somebody's in like some type of power over somebody, like like a, like the jail situation with an inmate, it, it shouldn't happen, it's, it's wrong and if, you know, that's corruption. WDRB started asking the jail about Smith in May. Two months later, the jail's attorney now says Smith is no longer employed at the jail, Hello? but won't say why. Hi, I'm looking for Will. So we called Smith. This is Valerie Chin with WDRB. He says you? he was just fired this month, but oh, wasn't told why. You were a lieutenant, okay. Is that surprising that they fired you? No, I would do the same thing if they, but if there was an issue. Smith says he thinks the messages had something to do with his firing. Why were you texting her messages while she was on the run? I don't know. It was like one time. But messages show it wasn't just one time. He texted Spencer on 10 different days while she was on the run. March 4th, 6th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 19th, 22nd, and 23rd. So back to why were you messaging her when you knew police were looking for her? I did not know. And then in the messages, you asked her to take some pictures and then you took a picture of your private area and sent it to her? I don't recall. Do you think it was inappropriate for you to 
be messaging an inmate who was on the run? I mean, yeah. The jail's attorney says KSP is investigating and it is an active investigation. James says he just wants justice for Spencer. He says while she was at his house, she used his cash app to contact a former drug dealer and those drugs led to an overdose on March 31st. I could tell she was gone. Like, even though I know she was gone, I still tried to give a CPR. And as for the messages, you never gave her any money, but you, you did tell her you were going to pawn your gun to help her. Why did you want to help her? I was playing along with her games. Do you regret anything that happened that led to your firing? Everyone yeah, regrets things they do. Is there anything that you wish you would have changed or anything that you regret happened after she escaped? It's kind of difficult for me to talk about, but I regret helping her, you know, just use pretty much. I mean, because it was, you know, it was my money that it ultimately like helped her to, you know, overdose. So, if I could take anything back, I wish I would have told her no. You, you have to just stay in jail and because um, she would still be alive today. KSP tells WDRB it was given the findings of an administrative investigation conducted by the Bullock County Detention Center on a former employee to review if any criminal activity had occurred. KSP is currently consulting with the Bullock County Commonwealth Attorney's Office on potential criminal charges. I think it's a shame. Um, she was seemed as though she was trying to do good. She seemed like she wanted to get out of jail and turn her life around. Valerie Chen, WDRB News.